Well, out there to you. In this video, we're going to find elasticity of demand at a particular point, which corresponds to a price. This is sometimes called point elasticity. So we have a demand function. You can graph that, or you can just think about what that's going to look like. It's going to be a downward sloping demand function, something like that. Uh, and it's going to finish up right there at 1,000. Okay. Um, so you, you can work out the rest, but we're, we just want to figure out what the elasticity is when the price is 10. So we're going to call up the elasticity of demand formula, uh, which is at a particular point is the price over the quantity, that's a Q, times the rate of change in the price over the rate of change in quantity, which is sometimes called the partial derivative with respect to Q. And long story short is, is it's that little coefficient right there. So we have most of it already. We have, uh, we're just going to fill in what we, what we already have. We have, um, we have the price, the price is 10. We're going to figure out the quantity. And then we know that that's negative 20. Okay, so I need to know what the quantity is. So I'm just going to plug in 10 into that function right there. I think I can do this in my head. Uh, 1,000, but I'll write it out to, to show you. Uh, 20 times 10 would be 200. So this would be a quantity of 800. In other words, when the price is 10, we're going to sell 800 units or the consumers will want to buy 800 units. So this is our formula here. Uh, solve for this, and that is something, uh, even though I already solved it and know the answer, uh, 10 over 800, and then I'm going to multiply that by 20, and this gives me um, a number that is negative 0 0.25. Uh, this, in a lot of classes, is going to be reported in absolute terms, so you might hear instructors say, oh, that's just 0.25, or... They might also call that one fourth because it could that ratio could be expressed as a fraction, and that of course is inelastic because it's a number in between zero and depending on whether or not you're using absolute terms, uh, one or negative one. So that's inelastic, and that is how to solve for point elasticity given a, a certain point, a certain price.